I know. Entering passwords is a pain, and Windows 10 seems to ask you to do it all the time. I'm going to show you a couple of workarounds, but they're not exactly safe. So first, let's give Windows 10 some credit. It actually gives you a lot of password alternatives. You can do facial recognition, fingerprint recognition, and I've done videos showing you how to do numerical pins and even picture pins. But if your PC is locked away in a room where no one ever goes, you could conceivably do with little or no password entry. So I'm going to show you two workarounds that are actually power settings. Go to the Start menu hit Settings, go to System, and go down to Power and Sleep. And scroll down a bit to the Sleep Options, and you'll see here that you have settings for when your PC goes to sleep, whether it's on battery, power, or plugged in. Now, every time your PC goes to sleep, you have to enter your password again. So if you don't want to do that, all you have to do is make sure that it never goes to sleep. So you can hit Never here. And you can even hit never for when it's plugged in. And now your PC will just stay awake all the time. The drawbacks here are that since it's awake all the time, anyone can just go up to it and start typing away. And the other drawback is that you're going to use a lot more electricity. So to get to the second option, we scroll down to this link to additional power settings. And now we go to this control panel dialog. And we're going to click this link up here called Require a Password on Wake Up. Now, as you can see on the screen, Windows has set as the default to require a password when your PC wakes up. This is so that when you walk away from your PC, someone can't just come up and start using it. So there's a really good reason for doing this. But if you want to avoid entering a password, you can actually change this setting. Now, Windows doesn't make it really easy. You have to unclick something, and I'll show you how to do that. Go in this menu and scroll up to this link up here that says Change Settings that are currently unavailable. You do that, and suddenly this radio button comes up down here that says, don't require a password. And as it explains, it means that when your computer wakes up, anyone can access your data because the computer isn't locked. But if you're ready to take that risk, all you have to do is check that, and you're done. The third option is to watch my video on setting up a local user account in Windows 10. It's really easy to do, and you don't have to set up a password for it, but it locks you out of conveniences like your Windows Services account. So at that point, you have to think about, is this really worth it? So as you can see, passwords are a pain, but they're also risky to do without. So if you have other security questions, just email us at answer at pcworld.com.